I'm here because uh, as a plumber or a tradesman, it's not very often you're given the opportunity to um, feel like, I guess, you make a difference. So for me, it's, a, it's an opportunity to be able to make a difference and try and help out some people who aren't quite as fortunate as us. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing. We're in India because of an invitation from the Indian Plumbing Association to come to the country where at the moment, today 2015, there is an enormous drive across India uh, under the Swachh Bharat program, which is the Clean India mission. We have invited groups of students representing plumbing, engineering, construction and design trades and their challenge is to work together to create and design and then actually build a, a new sanitation facility for a municipal school here in Nassik. We're hoping to make a difference in as many lives as possible. Um, we see this as a great opportunity to show our skills and uh, care for the health of the human race in general. I think the thing that we most expect is to keep learning and just enjoy and getting to meet um, a little bit of the just the relationship that it has been built. Uh, today and tomorrow we hope to see what we have available to us. Uh, all we've had is pictures up to this point so um, we can uh, assess the situation and hopefully tomorrow we can present a good solution for them and and I uh, get going on and placing it for them. What's in this room are some of the most skilled people in the world. I just want to end that the point of me being here really is we started the work we're doing not with what we were going to do, but why we do it. Jose, I love you. Obviously, we're at the school. Um, Considering the population in the school, the facility is definitely inadequate and needs to be improved. The accessibility and the quality of work which is done has to be improved. That is it. We have been doing all those uh, renovations and new toilets in the schools, but now with this international crew over here from four different countries, I think the outcome will be much better than what we individually do. So I really look forward to the new design that will come up through the CPC competition. We took all the designs to the school, to the principals and the committee for the school. They gave very good feedback. They asked many questions and we tried to work with them to come up with not one design. We didn't have one overall winner. We came up with the best parts of all the designs. And it's fair to say that every team had something in their design which will contribute to the final solution. What we're hoping to, to, to achieve here is um, one hand washing room that's upgraded to have um, around 18 hand washing troughs in there, some upgrades to able, enable the flushing of the urinals and also some small other projects changing water tanks and upgrading the, the water supply to the, uh, 
of the facility. I'm happy with the results so far. We've done the very first part of the process. Um, people have spent months thinking about this, designing it, putting lots of effort in, but they've all just realised that this is the start now. We've got a design, now we actually have to build it. So what we're looking to do by the use of Autodesk technology is to really increase the visual aspect of the project that the students are working on. So we have Autodesk student experts that are creating the 3D models of the entire school itself so that we can see what it looks like now and then importantly by working with designing all the internal components using tools like Autodesk 360 and we're going to be able to visually represent what the final design will look like before it's even built. I'm like reverse engineering a faucet that they gave me. We are making a 3D model out of it on the software that was provided to us, the Autodesk 360. The biggest challenge is that uh, since we are new to the software, so it's uh, in, in a really less time we have to learn a lot and then the biggest problem is the Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Last year, being a participant and you know presenting and even doing the practical tasks seems so much more theoretical. Where today, and working here, you're looking at the kids' faces, their smiles, and we're leaving them with something. So it's much more real. We're actually changing, you know, the lives of people. This is a competition, yes, and I am a coach on Team USA, but ultimately I'm Team School 125. The design can be replicated in any rural area, so that is the main motto behind the design. And we have not uh, focused on the aesthetic part, we are focusing on the utility part and the functionality of the area. He is the superman of the CPC team. Congratulations to him. <laughs> he really he, he, he really has done a fantastic job on ground and can handle anything and everything. He is a good carpenter, a good plumber, and a, even to an extent, I suppose, a good mason. Am I, am I right? Yes, thank yeah. you. The main difference between uh, the project in Singapore and here in India is that we're actually on site here in the school and the students are actually carrying out the project that they've designed. Also engaging uh, students in the school on the benefits of health related to hand washing and sanitation. After the lesson, we played a game on the playground and we had a ball and glitter. The glitter represented the germs and how easy it is to pass it on to others. So it doesn't just affect you, but others as well. The main reasons why we did the role playing and doing some games is that's how we learned when we were little, to learn how to hand wash, how to do all the different sports we've learned and just in general, by being able to actually go and play and do this stuff physically, that's how you actually learn what you're doing. So for example, if you wash your hands in a bucket of water, that's not going to be the same as actually going up to a faucet and washing it. And by making it where it's fun to do that, children will more likely do it. We'll be able to work together with another cultures and um, it's a, a good experience for me. The greatest thing that I'll take away from the Community Plumbing Challenge is um, the people that I've been able to work with and the fact that we're going to be able to, or have been able to really improve the sanitation and um, hopefully the lives of some of the kids at this school. I really enjoyed 
working with the team members from all the other countries. It opened my eyes to how different things are done other places, but yet they're very similar. By designing this, uh, uh, this facilities, we have uh, uh, built up an example for all the uh, communities in India which can be replicated, this design can be repl replicated all over the world and uh, it can also improve the health conditions of the students and uh, also benefit them. We have made many friends, uh, we have learned many things. We have uh, really learned a lot from this combination, yeah, like the, was, from the plumbing part, from the masonry, from construction. It, 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 was, a, it was a complete exposure and uh, a, very good ex a very good experience. We intend uh, to, to next year look at uh, South Africa, um, where the World Plumbing Council conference is, uh, and ideally we'll engage more countries now that this um, this project has, has four, we ideally will double that next time to um, look at expanding more ideas and more design solutions for these, for these projects.